Good morning students. Today's class is about unit 5 special functions. Contents Introduction Beta and Gamma functions Properties Relation between beta and gamma functions. Evaluation of definite integrals using beta and gamma functions. Objective and outcome. The objective is beta and gamma functions. And the outcome will be student get to understand about beta and gamma functions. Introduction Beta and gamma functions are improper integrals which are commonly encountered in many science and engineering applications. These functions are used in evaluating definite integrals. Mainly beta and gamma functions are used to evaluate the definite integrals, improper definite integrals. Definition The first and second Eulerian integrals, which are also called beta and gamma functions, respectively, are defined as follows Beta of mn is integral 0 to 1 x to the power of m minus 1, 1 minus x whole to the power of n minus 1, order is with respect to x. So it is beta of mn. The formula for beta of mn is integral 0 to 1 x to the power of m minus 1, 1 minus x whole power n minus 1 dx. And gamma of n is integral 0 to infinity e to the power of minus x x to the power of n minus 1 dx. So these are the formulas for beta of mn and gamma of n. Beta of mn is read as beta mn and gamma of n is read as gamma n. Here the quantities m and n are positive numbers. So these are the Eulerian integrals which are also called as beta function and gamma functions. So formula for beta of mn is Integral 0 to 1 x to the power of m minus 1, 1 minus x whole to the power of n minus 1 dx. And gamma of n is integral of 0 to infinity e to the power of minus x x to the power of n minus 1 dx. So these are the beta function and gamma function. In this class, we will study about gamma functions. gamma function definition if n greater than 0 then the gamma function is defined by the integral integral 0 to infinity e to the power of minus x x to the power of n minus 1 dx and is denoted by gamma of n and defined as gamma of n is integral 0 to infinity e to the power of minus x x to the power of n minus 1 dx and we have gamma of n is equal to n minus 1 gamma of n minus 1 replacing n by n plus 1 so we will have gamma of n plus 1 is n gamma of n which is equal to n factorial the formula is used for positive integers and gamma of n which is obtained just by dividing with n so we will have gamma of n is gamma of n plus 1 by n don't forget these formulas to find the gamma values we have to note these formulas so once again gamma of n is integral 0 to infinity e power minus x x to the power of n minus 1 dx gamma of n is n minus 1 gamma of n minus 1 and gamma of n plus 1 is n gamma of n and gamma of n value is gamma of n plus 1 by n so it is used for n real numbers. 
for real numbers we have to use this formula and factorial is used for positive integers and we will have gamma of n by k power n is integral 0 to infinity e to the power of minus kx x to the power of n minus 1 dx so integral 0 to infinity e power minus kx x to the power of n minus 1 dx is gamma of n by k power n suppose integral 0 to infinity e power minus 5x into the x to the power of n minus 1 dx is there then we have to write it as gamma of n by 5 power n and gamma half is root pi gamma minus half is a minus 2 root pi don't forget these values these are used commonly to find the gamma values for real numbers once again gamma half is root pi and gamma minus half is minus 2 root pi in particular gamma 1 is integral 0 to infinity e power minus x dx which is obtained just by replacing n equal to 1 in the definition but integration for e power minus x is a minus e power minus x substituting upper limit as infinity and lower limit as 0 so we will get e power minus infinity is 0 and e power 0 is 1 so that is minus half minus 1 is plus 1 so thus we will have gamma 1 value is 1 in general gamma of n plus 1 is n factorial provided n is positive integer taking n equal to 0 we will have gamma of 0 plus 1 is a zero factorial but what is the value of zero factorial one so thus we will have gamma of one is one and gamma of two is gamma three is gamma four is and so on are evaluated successively by using this formula that is gamma of n plus one is n gamma of n which is equal to n factorial hence we will have gamma of two which is obtained by replacing n equal to 1 that is 1 gamma of 1 is 1 factorial but 1 factorial is 1 gamma of 3 which is obtained by replacing n equal to 2 thus we will have 2 gamma of 2 but gamma of 2 is 1 factorial that is 2 into 1 factorial is 2 gamma 4 is 3 into gamma of 3 but gamma of 3 is 2 factorial so thus we will have 3 into 2 factorial is 3 factorial next value is gamma of 5 is 4 factorial gamma 6 is 5 factorial gamma 100 is 99 factorial on continuing this process so we will have gamma of n plus 1 is n factorial gamma 1000 is 999 factorial and gamma half value is root pi gamma minus half value minus 2 root pi we will prove these results also gamma of n plus 1 is n gamma of n and gamma of n is gamma of n plus 1 by n don't forget these formulas to evaluate gamma values for real numbers we have to know about these formulas so once again gamma of n plus 1 is n gamma of n and gamma of n is gamma of n plus 1 by n gamma of 3 by 2 but 3 by 2 can be written as 1 by 2 plus 1 so n is here half that is half into gamma half but what is the value of gamma half root pi i have already told the value of gamma half is root pi so gamma of 3 by 2 is root pi by 2 once again 3 by 2 can be written as 1 by 2 plus 1 it is look like gamma of n plus 1 but what is gamma of n plus 1 n gamma of n half plus 1 is 
half gamma half but what is the value of gamma half root pi so thus we will have 1 by 2 root pi gamma of 5 by 2 5 by 2 can be written as 3 by 2 plus 1 so it is look like gamma of n plus 1 so that 3 by 2 gamma of 3 by 2 but 3 by 2 can be written as 1 by 2 plus 1 but gamma half plus 1 is half gamma half but what is the value of gamma half root pi so we will have gamma of 5 by 2 is 3 by 2 plus 1 that is 3 by 2 gamma of 3 by 2 already we have gamma of 3 by 2 value that is 1 by 2 root pi so simply we can find suppose gamma of 7 by 2 is there then gamma of 7 by 2 is 5 by 2 3 by 2 1 by 2 root pi gamma of 9 by 2 7 by 2 5 by 2 3 by 2 1 by 2 root pi gamma of 11 by 2 9 by 2 7 by 2 5 by 2 3 by 2 1 by 2 root pi gamma of 11 by 2 9 by 2 7 by 2 5 by 2 3 by 2 1 by 2 root pi if we simplify this evaluating the product so we'll get 945 by 32 into square root of pi so it is the value of gamma of 11 by 2 gamma half gamma negative half so gamma half is root pi but gamma minus half is minus 2 root pi for negative numbers real numbers we have to use this formula so what is the formula here gamma of n is gamma of n plus 1 by n that is gamma minus half is obtained by replacing n equal to minus half that is gamma of minus half plus 1 by minus half but what is minus half plus 1 1 minus half 1 minus half is half that is gamma half whole by minus half but what is the value of gamma half root pi root pi upon minus half fraction reversing so we'll get minus 2 root pi so it is the required value of gamma half gamma negative half so don't forget these values we will use commonly that is gamma half is root pi and gamma minus half is minus 2 root pi for negative real numbers we have to use this formula that is gamma of n is gamma of n plus 1 by n so gamma of n is gamma of n plus 1 by n now gamma of minus 5 by 2 which is obtained by replacing n equal to minus 5 by 2 so gamma of minus 5 by 2 plus 1 by minus 5 by 2 but what is a minus 5 by 2 plus 1 minus 3 by 2 so fraction is reversed here that is minus 2 by 5 into gamma of minus 3 by 2 again it is look like gamma of n but what is gamma of n gamma of n plus 1 by n gamma of n plus 1 by n that is gamma of minus 3 by 2 plus 1 by minus 3 by 2 so again using this formula now fraction is reversed minus into minus is plus 2 into 2 4 5 into 3 15 gamma minus half but what is the value of gamma minus half minus 2 root pi so that is a 4 by 15 into minus 2 root pi so simplifying taking the product 4 into minus 2 is minus 8 by 15 into root pi so it is the required value of gamma of minus 5 by 2 is a minus 8 by 15 root pi so don't forget these values that is gamma half is root pi and gamma minus half is minus 2 root pi gamma of n plus 1 is n gamma of n which is equal to n factorial for any positive integer but gamma of n is gamma of n plus 1 by n for n real number for negative real numbers we have to use this formula that is gamma of n is gamma of n plus 1 by n 
transformation of gamma function we have gamma of n n minus 1 gamma of n minus 1 and gamma of n plus 1 is n gamma of n which is equal to n factorial and gamma of n is gamma of n plus 1 by n so using these values we will have some transformations of gamma functions and main definition of gamma function is gamma of n is integral 0 to infinity e to the power of minus x into x to the power of n minus 1 dx so let it be equation 1 so first transformation here to get first transformation we have to put x equal to lambda y and differentiating on both sides dx is a lambda constant y derivative is dy so that is a dx lambda dy and limits are same limits so that's the equation 1 becomes gamma of n is integral 0 to infinity e to the power of minus lambda y dx what is the dx here lambda dy and x to the power of n minus 1 becomes lambda y whole to the power of n minus 1 now we can take out the constant here what is the constant lambda power n minus 1 into lambda but lambda power n minus 1 into lambda is lambda power n dividing with lambda power n so we will have integral 0 to infinity y to the power of n minus 1 into e power minus lambda y into dy is gamma of n by lambda power n so it is the formula the first formula is also taken as like this important one commonly used while taking the problems or evaluating the definite integrals under the limits 0 to infinity we will use commonly this formula that is the formula is integral 0 to infinity y to the power of n minus 1 e power minus lambda y into dy is gamma of n by lambda power n if lambda takes place k then the definite integral is integral 0 to infinity e power minus ky into y to the power of n minus 1 dy is gamma of n by k power n suppose lambda takes place 5 just we have to replace lambda with 5 another transformation of gamma function put x power n equal to z in equation 1 so what is equation 1 gamma of n is integral 0 to infinity e to the power of minus x x to the power of n minus 1 dx now we have to put x to the power of n as z then differentiating on both sides x power n derivative is n into x to power n minus 1 dx is dz that is x is z power 1 by n applying whole to the power of 1 by n on both sides so we will have x is z power 1 by n so then equation 1 becomes gamma of n is integral 0 to infinity e to the power of minus z power 1 by n into 1 by n dz now taking out the constant here and cross multiplying so we will have the definite integral value that is integral 0 to infinity e to the power of minus z power 1 by n dz is n gamma of n but what is the value of n gamma of n gamma of n plus 1 so integral 0 to infinity e to the power of minus z power 1 by n dz is gamma of n plus 1 so don't forget so we will use rarely this formula while evaluating the integrals so we will use this formula that is integral 0 to infinity e to the power of minus z power 1 by n dz suppose if we want to get integral 0 to infinity e power minus z square dz then just we have to replace n equal to half in this formula to get the value of integral 0 to infinity e power minus z square dz now putting e power minus x as t in equation 1 so what is equation 1 
main definition of gamma function that is gamma of n is integral 0 to infinity e to the power of minus x x to the power of n minus 1 dx so on differentiating both sides we will get minus e power minus x dx is dt that is e power x is 1 by t so what is mean by e power minus x 1 by e power x on cross multiplying we will have e power x is 1 by t substituting these values then equation 1 becomes gamma of n is the integral of 1 to 0 minus log t whole to the power of n minus 1 but what is a dx dt by minus e power minus x that is a dt by minus e power minus t so replacing and simplifying so we will get integral 0 to 1 negative log t can be written as log of 1 by t log of 1 by t means log of a by b is log a minus log b so log of 1 by t means log 1 minus log t but what is the value of log 1 0 0 minus log t means minus log t so negative log t can be written as log of 1 by t whole to the power of n minus 1 minus dt to remove minus just we have to limits to be interchanged that is 1 to 0 becomes 0 to 1 so it is the required value of the definite integral under the limits 0 to 1 to the integrand log of 1 by t whole to the power of n minus 1 order is with respect to t so it is nothing but gamma of n so we have another transformation here for gamma function that is gamma of n is integral 0 to 1 log of 1 by t whole to the power of n minus 1 dt don't forget very 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 important formula here in terms of logarithmic function that is gamma of n is integral 0 to 1 log of 1 by t whole to the power of n minus 1 dt another transformation value of gamma half putting n equal to half in equation 3 we get half into gamma half is integral 0 to infinity e to the power of minus z square dz is half into root pi because the value of integral 0 to infinity e to the power of minus x square dx is root pi by 2 so clearly here half of get cancelled so thus we will have gamma half gamma half value is root pi problem evaluate integral 0 to infinity e to the power of minus x x square dx it is look like integral 0 to infinity e power minus x x to the power of n minus 1 dx which is nothing but gamma of n so we have gamma of n formula integral 0 to infinity e power minus x x power n minus 1 dx now given now this x square can be written as x to the power of 3 minus 1 so that what is a n here 3 so thus the value becomes gamma 3 but what is the value of gamma of 3 gamma of n plus 1 is n gamma of n which is equal to n factorial so gamma of 3 is 2 factorial is 2 so it is the required value of the definite integral so simply we can evaluate this improper definite integral just by comparing with the gamma function and defining n value which gives the required value of the integral another problem evaluate integral 0 to infinity e power minus 3x x square dx so just given comparing with integral 0 to infinity e power minus x x to the power of n minus 1 dx but here minus 3x is there so we have formula i have already told integral 0 to infinity e power minus kx into x to the power of n minus 1 dx is gamma of n by k to the power of n 
so it is one of the transformation of gamma function that is integral 0 to infinity e power minus kx x to the power of n minus 1 dx is gamma of n by k power n we have already proved this just by replacing k with lambda and x with y so don't forget the value of the definite integral that is integral 0 to infinity e to the power of minus kx x to the power of n minus 1 dx is gamma of n by k power n so comparing with this so we will have n is here 3 and k is here 3 so that is gamma of 3 by 3 cube but what is gamma of 3 2 factorial and 3 cube means 27 3 into 3 into 3 27 but 2 factor is 2 that is 2 by 24 27 is the required constant of the given integral so don't forget the formula integral 0 to infinity e power minus kx x to the power of n minus 1 dx is gamma of n by k power n another problem evaluate integral 0 to infinity e power minus x x to the power of 3 by 2 dx so given 3 by 2 can be written as here 5 by 2 minus 1 now it is look like integral 0 to infinity e power minus x x to the power of n minus 1 dx is nothing but gamma of n but what is n here 5 by 2 so thus the value becomes gamma of 5 by 2 so gamma 5 by 2 value is 3 by 2 1 by 2 root pi so i have already told gamma 7 by 2 means 5 by 2 3 by 2 1 by 2 root pi gamma 5 by 2 means 3 by 2 1 by 2 root pi which are obtained by using gamma of n plus 1 is n gamma of n evaluate integral 0 to infinity x to the power of a by a power x dx solution given integral i let it be i let it be equation 1 now this can be solved by using substitution method that is putting a power x equal to e power t or t is x log a which is obtained by taking log on both sides but what is the value of log e 1 so x into log a is t or x is t by log a now differentiating on both sides dx is 1 by log a is constant t derivative is dt so it is the value of dx substituting in these values in equation 1 so we will have i is integral 0 to infinity x is replaced with t by log a whole to the power of a and dx value is dt by log a a power x is e power t but what is 1 by e power t e to the power of minus t so taking out the constant here that is 1 by log a whole to the power of a plus 1 integral 0 to infinity e power minus t t power a dt now a can be written as here a plus 1 minus 1 just adding 1 and subtracting 1 in power function so we will have it is nothing but 1 by log a whole to the power of a plus 1 that is gamma of a plus 1 because gamma of n is integral 0 to infinity e power minus x x to the power of n minus 1 dx so to compare with the gamma function just we have to write it as t power a as t power a plus 1 minus 1 so it is nothing but gamma of a plus 1 so this is about gamma function and problems related to gamma function for any queries Please contact. Thank you.